Thank you very much. Good evening. Other matters now. The Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board JAM has denied plans to increase its examination fee. The board also described as untrue allegations that it sold government assets, including a Prado Jeep, at unreasonable prices. National Assembly correspondent Jokia Disa reports. The House Committee on Basic Education Examination Bodies is interfacing with JAM leadership over allegations of financial impropriety, particularly on the sale of some government assets. We well, invited all agencies under the supervision of our committee to come and give account of stewardship in order to ascertain the extent of compliance, relevant regulation laws, guiding revenue generation and remittance. The Office of the Accountant General of the Federation provides insight into the remittances from JAMP since 2017. We reviewed the audited financial statement of JAMP for the fiscal year 2021-2022. We send it to them, we request a call for reconciliation. While the board also gives a record of its internally generated revenues over the years, the legislators identified some discrepancies in the two sets of figures. The board attributes these to the auto-deduction policy of government. In 2020, when the government started asking other organizations to probably to persuade them to pay, they started what they call auto deduction, and they started doing it on us. We protested. Jump also denies selling any government assets at incredible rates. Beku, you have so said, is still with us. Because we don't believe in it. Because the valuation is one point uh, something. And the auctioneer, they went and people bidded two million, three million. We were not convinced. The vehicle is still, is the car I brought here now. This was also an opportunity for the board to speak on the alleged increase in the fee for 2024 UTME. Ishak Oloide says the addition in fee is strictly for computer-based test centers as a result of the hike in the price of diesel. We have not increased the cost. What we have just done is to allow the CBT center to charge more than they are charging. But because we are going to collect it for them, why are we collecting? We are collecting because if we leave them alone, they were taught these students. The committee is to set up a sub-panel that will reconcile the figures provided by the Joint Admissions and Matriculations Board and the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation to ascertain likely discrepancies. Joke Adisa.